Okay, so this is the join to show my stand at the 10 ton per day flake ice plant. This is the 10 ton per day flake ice machine. This machine can make 10 tons of ice flakes within every 24 hours. And that capacity 10 ton per day is based on working with uh, 30 degree Celsius ambient temperature and 20 degrees Celsius water in a temperature. Below the ice machine is the ice room. This is the ice room. It's made of heat insulated material and a stainless steel. It can storage five tons of ice flakes. This is the steel frame of the ice machine. It supports the ice machine and uh, bear the weight of the machine. This is the compressor, this is the water cooling um, condenser. This is the water cooling tower. This is the water cooling pump. The pump will remain the water circulation between the condenser and the cooling tower. Water goes into the condenser from this line and come out from this line. The pump will remain the water circulation. Heat will be carried from the ice machine to the tower and heat will be released into the ambient. This is the dimension of the ice room. With this dimension, the ice storage capacity is five tons. For a 10 ton per day flake ice plant, we always recommend 5 ton ice storage capacity. We can see the dimensional information here. This is the heat of the machine. And this is the heat of the ice room. Length of the ice room and ice machine. All the information is well shown here. The cooling tower is always located outside of the user's facility because a lot of heat and uh, steam <coughs> will come out from it. Uh, we can see many users will locate the water cooling tower on the top of a building. Now is the layout join of the 10 ton per day flake ice plant. The ice machine, ice room. This is the ice room door. And here clearly we can see the steel frame to support the weight of ice machine and the bear the weight of the machine. Steel frame to support the ice machine. This is the layout join number two. Ice room door. Machine, ice room. Steel frame to support it. This layout join is a very good reference for you to see how the ice plants will look like it's very helpful for you to design your ice plant before you pay for it. Here is the dimensional information. All the needed dimensional information is here. Okay, we go on with the layout join. This is the layout join number three. We check it from back. This is the layout join number four. We always recommend a 5 ton ice room for 10 ton per day machine. The storage capacity 5 ton of ice flakes is enough to collect all the ice flakes made in the night time. So when the user opens the ice room door in the morning, the ice room is full of ice flakes. 
okay so this is uh, all the information about the dimension and the layout of our stand at the 10 town ballet flake ice plant Here I'm making a video to show my 10 ton per day flake ice machine. This is the 10 ton per day flake ice machine. And here is the details of the machine. The machine is designed to make 10 tons of ice flakes within every 24 hours. We test the machine uh, with this working condition. The actual capacity is 10.8 tons of ice flakes. The working condition is the 30 degrees Celsius ambient temperature and a 20 degrees Celsius water in a temperature. The machine is equipped with one visa piston compressor, water cooling canister, water cooling tower, This is the compressor and a condenser. Compressor and the condenser is below the compressor. What the cold condenser is collected with the one water cooling tower. The water circulation between the condenser and the tower will release all the heat from the system. One machine is equipped with the four dead force expansion valves. Valve one, two, three, four. Let's open the control panel to check the inside. We can see that most of the Contact and the, uh, all the contact and the relay, they are sliders. That is one of the best brands for electrical components. The system is controlled by the PLC. This is the PLC. Okay. Here we have four machines all together. This is the machine number four. This is the machine number three. This is the machine number two. And this is the machine number one. machine is working now. We can see the ice is coming down from the ice outlet. And this is how the compressor looks when it's working. If you are a refrigeration engineer, you can understand that the compressor is working is the best efficiency. 
there is only a little liquid coming back to the compressor from the suction side and it's making the system working with the highest efficiency all the cooling power is made for use in the system Okay, now we will uh, focus the camera on the ice outlet so we can check the quality of the ice flakes made by the machine. Okay, we put the camera here. This is the ice making speed. The rotation of ice blades is working is very high. It's higher than other Chinese flake ice machines. We can use the higher rotation speed because the evaporator has the best thermal conductivity thanks to the special material we use to make the evaporators. With the better thermal conductivity, the water is frozen easily. Let's collect some ice. See the well frozen. Okay, later we will check the inside of the evaporator from the top. Now we check the inside of the evaporator from the top. Water is frozen very well, and the ice harvesting is very smoothly. So this is all I want to shoot about my 10 pound blade play ice machine. You are welcome to send me the inquiry or contact with me by WhatsApp. And call me call my mobile phone number i will upload this video onto youtube
you can subscribe to my YouTube space. I will keep loading new machines, new videos for new machines in future. Thank you for your time.